beautiful church that's in the middle of here. We got Starbucks, Subway, Pinkberry, Flying Dog Hospital, Rooms, <laughs> Little Vents. Look at that. This is Mim Peru, John F. Kennedy Park. And there's John F. Kennedy. Statue of him. John F. Kennedy Park. Is that cool? I'm in, I'm in Peru, in Lima, and I'm at John F. Kennedy Park. And you got a statue of him and honoring him here. It's a beautiful park, actually. It's got decent bathrooms, too. Little police action going on. They got hot women at the park. Beautiful, beautiful ladies at the park walking around. It's a little bit of a cloudy day. The weather is just, just perfect. It's got a little bit of humidity to it. Probably about, I'd say, 70 degrees? Yeah. About 70 degrees. So we were, we asked to get dropped off by the taxi cab driver at the beach, and um, the taxi and we cab- We asked uh, dropped off at the uh, Mira Flores. Mira Flores is what they we asked for. We thought that was next to the beach. But it is next to the beach, but he dropped us from the wrong end. Uh, so we were on the wrong end. So we're about 10 blocks from the actual beach, which is where we're heading to. Everything seems to be pretty finished in this area as well. Unlike um, Cusco and some of the other places that we went to, which a lot of the houses were not done. Also saw a, a land sales for uh, property. It's funny, I need uh, just a couple of credits for my uh, CHIPS, which is certified international property specialist. Um, definitely inspires me to go get that finished since I've already taken 90% of all the courses for it already in regards to property rights overseas. Just get, get the rest of it done so that I can do international transactions because uh, a lot going on outside of the country. Some of the returns in other countries can be as much as 30% on property. Where in the United States you're getting six to seven percent market caps, uh, eight percent is incredible typically. But uh, I look at those as fearful that one of the tenants is going to blow up financially and you're going to end up upside down. So you don't want to feed a property, have it eat you. You want it to make you money. See all the cranes, cranes here for property. They're building at a massive rate. And just see all the development going on, cranes everywhere. Hard hats, love to see hard hats. Beautiful buildings, gorgeous buildings. They drive crazy here in Peru, I'm telling you. It's like, I don't want to rent a car. I definitely, everybody's wearing the Peruvian uh, soccer stuff, walking around. Guys were drinking a little bit ago. I guess there's a big game going on today in Peru. So everyone was drinking bottles uh, and yelling earlier, so. I think that's the ocean. I can't read it. It says Altera D something Alto. So I, I don't know if that's the... Yeah, we don't know where we're going, but who cares? Larry taught me how to surf when I was a kid. I used to surf in Santa Cruz all the time. Here goes more surfers over here and a boardwalk. here uh, where we're at are like river rocks. They're rounded rocks. So, 
Look at the river rocks behind me. It makes a neat sound when all the river rocks are being pulled back in the water by the wave. So you can see people surfing behind there. Hear that sound? It's a neat sound. It's river rocks being pulled back and tumbling across the top of those. Making a unique sound. You don't usually hear that at a beach. You hear the crash usually and then that's it. Here, you can hear the river rocks being pulled out against the other rocks. It's really neat. It's a BW bus. Right? Love it. That was cool. It had a surfboard as a as a table inside that Volkswagen bus. It was cool. We're heading over to the boardwalk over there. Carrying our luggage. Boardwalk. Nautica. La Rosas Nautica. Definitely feels like a resort out here. Feels almost like uh, Santa Cruz in a way. Yeah. Uh. Love the smell of the ocean. Mm. Love that salt smell. Yeah. Does that smell good? The only thing better is being in it. <laughs> and then surfing would be better. But I think we're gonna have to settle for uh, drinks and food. Steering the boat, baby? Yeah. Where are we going? Oh. Wow. And it has a compass in it. Yeah. Yeah, a compass. Pretty serious here. Is that typically here? Yeah. Who are you taking us, Captain? Uh, from Peru? Good Argentina, yes. Good yes, Argentina, yes. yeah. I got a broken compass. It might take us a while, a long while to get okay. there. Given that it's a broken compass. So we're going to the end of the bar, the end of the uh, boardwalk here so that we can watch the sunset. Here we are, having a bite to eat. Yeah. The surfers behind us. Want the wine, baby? No, I think I'm okay for now. Yeah. Like a water? Uh, some wine? I'd love some yeah. wine, baby. You serve wine, right? Yes. Yeah, it's Provoon Red. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Bring up the suit for the. Oh, thank you. Ah, Peru. So it, is this a good wine? Good. How is it good? Oh, that's that's good. That's very rich. Very good. Very good. Wow, that's very like good. It? Yeah, yeah, I like it. Peruvian wine. Peruvian Malbec. Wow, look at this. Fish, octopus, calamari. 
Just here. We just finished dinner, amazing dinner um, on the water, some, feeding birds. Such a fresh seafood. And, yeah. Well, fresh seafood, sea bass. Yeah. Octopus. Octopus. Fish. Fish. Calamari. Oh, it's just gorgeous here. Definitely, life is good here, right, babe? Yeah. Yeah. Weather's like perfect. Perfect. Maybe it's like 70 degrees, 85 percent humidity. Just incredible here. Yeah. Beautiful. You can know, order an Uber, baby. Yeah, We're ordering an Uber. because we're out of Seoul. Can't take a taxi. So cool. So we're uh, we're heading out. We're getting our Uber. It's one minute away. And then we're off to the airport. And then we're gone. Goodbye Peru. Back to the US.